Hi everyone, Jules here from Jules Designs and JT Creations. So what we're doing today is we're making it a cover, a journal cover out of a cereal box. Now I'm making the the cover for my tulips from Amsterdam, and the actual journal is twenty centimeters by fourteen and a half centimeters or eight inches. By five and three quarters so what I need my cover to be is 21 and a half centimeters that way by 15 and a half centimeters or in inches eight and a quarter by six and a quarter so what I've done is I've actually taken all the flaps off I've opened it up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure it and all right i think i've made a mistake i think i've cut it to the size of the journal rather than the Yes, I have. I've cut it to the size of the journal, but never mind. Rather than do another cover, I'm keeping it at this. So this I want at 21 and a half centimetres. So by the time that's stitched in, all it's going to be showing really is the the ruffles, which is fine. I just wanted a little bit more. And what I might do is I might put um a bit of lace on either side just to to match. That's fine. But we've got, I'll use one signature, but we've got a little bit of at the top and the bottom, which is fine. Now, as I said, I'm going to cover this with material and the material that I've got is it's like a, a linen so that's why i'm using because if i put it on that you can see through it and which means i would need to paint it um or cover it because you can see right through it all right And I am going to bring it in here. I'm not wanting it um, frayed too much because it's not going to show the frayed edge. So and we'll take this one off here. Oh, got a little dog coming to see me. Hello. She's been out for a walk, so she always comes to see me. And take this in here. Up. And take these corners off. I'm just leaving a little bit. 
on. You can fold your corners in like that and then like that, but it with material it leaves a little bit of bulk, so... So um, I had to go, my husband had brought me a coffee back. So what I've done is I've, we covered it. I put tape round and I brought all these down. Um, it's still a bit sticky there. This is going inside the spine. So what I made sure it was small enough. So where the creases are there, I made sure it fit in there. So it's going to be a hidden spine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this, I'm going to stitch the signatures into this, then stick it on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some cream lace, um, probably on the inside and a little bit of thinner lace on the outside. Um, I'm just waiting on the uh, um, a sheet from the kit printing. Um, I've also got some of this that I um, was thinking about putting on the, the edge. I'm not quite sure yet and what I want to do is I want to do um, a couple of tulips. Um, draw them and maybe have a go at painting them. So I will see you in a little while. Right, I'm back. So what I've done is I've sketched on here um, some tulips. I'm just colouring them in with aqua markers. Um, I'm not colouring this leaf in too much because I'm going to put some blue over it. Right, we've got this one, which is, I think I got this from Hobbycraft, and there's this one that I bought in Cyprus. Oh, some orange, some peach, some yellow. Okay, now I've not watercolored on on material. Um, you really should be using probably fabric paints. Let me clean this paint off because I want the, the green paint a bit yellowy. And it doesn't matter if it has a different colour green in it. And as long as the um, 
the fabric doesn't get wet it should be all right Um, I've decided to do this one insert. Oh dear. Right, I think we need to let that dry. Um, otherwise I'm going to have this. I'll be back in a middle when a minute when I've dried it. Okay, so that's it dry. Um so I've managed to get this one on. It's a bit longer, so I've had to peel that back and I'm going to have to do the same with this, I think. So no, I'm just going to peel this back. And we'll put this in here. Sorry if my head gets stuck in the way of it. And I'm just going to put this back. And make sure that that's stuck down there. Alright, and so the hidden spine is going to go there. I will cover that. I think I'll paint it actually. Um, so what I'm wanting to do on the front, um, I'm not sure now whether I want to put the blue um, on it. Um, 
No, I don't think I want to now. I think I'm just going to put some lace. So I don't know whether you can see that. I just penciled it. So it's tulips from Amsterdam. So I think I'll put the tulips up here in the fancy and then that down there. So I'm not the greatest of writers. Um, Just wondering if this will rub out. <laughs> yeah, it rubs out, that's good. So, and I probably will speed this up. So, I'm wanting um, Tulips. And like that, and from Mm. Yep. I'm quite pleased with that so I will put some lace on um, cream lace on the inside and a little tiny bit of lace over the top again cream lace and stitch the digitals in Quite nice it's quite a chunky um, I put something on there that is quite a quite a chunky journal so thank you for joining me and the next time you see this will be when it's finished and it's the flip through so there's the a bit close up these out and we've got like a little bit these little edges what I will do is I will go over them with um, fabric tack and stick them down and there we are so that's another way of doing a, a journal cover so thank you for joining me see you in the next video